and welcome to today's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. We're going to take a look at the Killer Sudoku. Um, for what happens in today's Times Crossword Championship, um, I think Mark will probably do an update in the next day or so. Uh, definitely worth watching. Um, and yeah, so with that, without further ado, um, let's take a look at this puzzle. So as usual, I'll just I'll just put in the easy ones and then we can go from there. But I can I can immediately see we can fill in this square. Um, just by the rule of 45. So 9 plus 21 is 30, plus 20 is 50, but we know that the top row has to add to 45, so this is a 5. Let's put that in and um, see what else we can see. In fact, I can already see something else here. So if we look at column 9, we've got 24 and 13 already in there, which add to 37. Well, Add 5 to 37 and you get 42. So the only way of these two cells adding up to 3 is if they're both equal to 1, 2, like this. I mean, actually, we could prove that with this 3 down here. Immediately again, we can look at the 7. That can only now be 3, 4. And the 13 is now limited to 6, 7 because we already have a 5 in the column, which rules out 5, 8. We already have a 4 in the square, which rules out 4, 9. Um, yeah, so that's a reasonably good start, I would say. Let's see, uh, see where we go from here. Well, you can see the 16, 7, 9 combination here, which is forced, which now means that this is in fact a 6 and this is a 7. Um, I'm just scanning the grid here. Um, two things I'll mention. So uh, if we look at the first two rows now, we can see that these two cells we can get the value off basically because 9, 21 is 30, plus the 20 is 50, plus the 10 is 60, plus the 21 is 81. But we know that the first two rows add up to 90. So we know that these two cells sum to 9. And that means that these two cells sum to 5. Now we should just bear that in mind. There's no real, well, I could notate it by doing one, two, three, four, like this. Uh, why don't I do that? Um, just so we remember. Um, but we can do exactly the same trick on the first two columns in the grid as well. So let's have a look at what they sum to. So we've got 9, uh, 55, 63, uh, 70, 86. So these two cells have to add up to four. Now that's a lot more helpful because four you can only, in two cells, you can only make with one three. Um, so that's quite seriously limiting what's going on here. Now, if these two cells are one and three, these two cells have to be eight and nine in order to make the whole box work. So we can fill that in as well. Um, and Okay, so now this 10, well, it can't be 1, 9, it can't be 2, 8, it can't be 3, 7, it can only be 4, 6. So again, that's hugely useful. This now can't be a 4, and this has to be 2, 7. Which means that this is a 1, this is a 2, and this is a 1. And again, just using Sudoku logic, this seven is uh, restricted again. So let's let's make sure we note all of these down because this this sort of restriction is very very powerful. Um, and immediately we can see how, how there's two things that I can see this is going to give us. First thing is let's look at this this seven box here. Well, we've now got three four in both of these positions, so we know that three and four is appearing here, and therefore we know that because this is limited to 1, 3, this 7 box contains a 4. Well, in that case, if it contains a 4, it must contain a 3. And so there we go. So this is in fact a 1, and this is a 3. And now let's have a look at this 8 box. Um, so this now is restricted as well. This can now only be 2, 6, um, because it can't be 3, 5, and it can't be 1, 7. So let's make sure that we note that down. And the other things we should be bearing in mind here is now, let's take a look, we've got two threes here. Well, we've got a three in one of these two positions. We've got a three in one of these two positions as well in column in columns one and two. 
that means that there cannot be a 3 in any other position in columns 1 and 2, which means that in this box the 3 must be in one of these two positions. can't tell quite which one yet, but I will actually note that down like that just so that we don't forget it. So again, we're only left with 5, 8, 9 in uh, row 7. This can't be a 9, because if this is a 9, um, the remaining 3 cells have to add up to 5. Well, 3 cells can only, the minimum they can add to is 6, so we can take the 9 out from here. Um, not that I think that's actually going to advance us much further at this point. Uh, okay, so we've got, we've got to still place a 1, so that actually this is, this is a 1. Uh, this is 5, 8. Um, and this is also quite nice. We've, we've got to place 2, 5, 8 in this, these three cells. But we have a 22 in 3. Well, 22 in 3, the minimum number you can have in that is, is 5. Uh, and so the 5, 8, you can't obviously have a 2 here. I suppose is the best way of putting it, but 5-8 completely restricts the box because 22 in 3 cells can only be made from 6-7-9 or 5-8-9 and the fact that we've had to put the 5-8 in here means that this, this 22 is actually a 5-8-9 variant rather than the 6-7-9 um, uh, variant and that's quite helpful probably too. Let's just see if we can now limit this further. Well this can only be 2 or 5 I think. This can only be 6 or 9. <laughs> okay and that's quite interesting too because we've now got a hidden quadruple in row 9 in the sense that we know that 5, 6, 8 and 9 are appearing in 4 cells in some order. Um, so there's four possibilities in four cells, so we're only left with a seven for this box. So we should fill that in. So we now we now know that these two diagonal cells have to add to ten in order for this eighteen box to be filled. Well, we can't have two fives in the same box, so in fact this is an eight and this is a two, which is great because now that's going to be a five and that's going to be a six. Okay. So we've made really very good progress, I think, so far in the puzzle. Um, and again, just by using these restrictions from the from the numbers we already have in the grid, we can see this 11 is now forced to be 5, 6. It can't be 2, 9, it can't be 3, 8, it can't be 4, 7, because all of those are ruled out by the numbers we already have in the column. So let's put in 5, 6, and you should be able to see that, that now has to be a 5, because we already have a 6 in that box. Again, that's all looking quite quite positive. So we have 489 to place. We know this can't contain. Well, actually, <laughs> we, we know more than that. We know this. Let's just take a quick look at that. So this is 489. This is 489. We know this can't. This is a 14, so it can't contain a 9 for exactly the same reason this cell can contain a 9. But now we can go further because we can't actually put an 8 in here either because. If we put an 8 in here, the smallest number this could be is 5. Well, 8 and 5 is 13, which means these two numbers would have to add up to 1. Not allowed fractions in Killer Sudoku. So this is a 4. Okay, and now this can't be an 8. Uh, in fact, it can't be an 8 for the reason that this is an 8 as well, which I've forgotten. Um, but there we go. So 4 and 5 is 9, so we now need these two cells to add up to five, we already have a one in the column, so this is two, three, and we have a three here. So this is in fact the three, and this is the two. And that's great, because now the ten is forced. Ten is forced to be four, six, and that means that this is in fact has to be the six. Yeah, I mean, 
I'm pretty sure this puzzle is um, has fallen now in the sense that it's um, it's becoming fairly trivial to fill it in. So again, here we've got 16, and we have to put five in here. The only way of doing that because we have a one in the box already means this is a two three uh, as shown, which means that this has to be a one. This has to be a seven. And that means this is an eight. Um, so we're fairly flying through this today, actually. It's um, I don't know whether what the time limit was supposed to be, but you know, even even you know, talking over the video, it's only taken a few minutes so far. So um, certainly seems a bit easier than the normal. You know, and again, we've got the one nine and the seventeen. So these two have to add up to seven. Well, the only way they can do that, the only combination that's left that's possible is 2, 5. And we already have a 2 here, so again, we can put the 2 there like that. So uh, several, I think, examples of this, this logic in this puzzle, I suppose, which is, you know, you scan along a row or a column, you look at what's already in there, and we've been left with just one possibility for uh, a two cell box like this one. So again here we can see this can only be 5, 7. Scan down, we've already got 5 there, so this has to be 5, this has to be 7. Okay. So the same logic along here, forces the 4, 5 into, into this 9 cell. Uh, so we're left with what, 2, 8 to place here. think that's quite restricted yet. Um, one, two, so this is three, four, nine, it's a combination. Let's note that down. And we could just do a quick bit of calculation to show that in fact this can't be a nine in this cell. Um, we already have a seven in this box of four. So if this is a nine and this is a seven, um, this would have to be the one. And then this would have to be a 4. But you can see that can't be a 4 because we already have a 4 here. So this can't be a 9. And now the 3 and the 4 are limited to these two cells, which means that this one has to be a 9. So we've got 3, 4, 8 into this box. You can see immediately here we've already got the 4 and the 8 here. So in fact this is a 3. This is the 4 and this is the 8. Um, as shown there, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 8, 8. One of these two cells is eight. I don't think that takes us any further. No, this cell has to be two. This is the only place a two can go in this box. So six nines. So this is six nines. So. so hopefully it's very obvious to everybody that if you just take a look at the possibilities in this box of four, it's not possible that this cell isn't isn't one. Um, because if it isn't one, we have already have a six nine pair, which means these two cells would add to fifteen. These two cells have to add to nine, which is impossible. So this this must be a one. Let's put that in. That means that's a nine. Uh, so the remaining three cells here have to add up to twenty three in three, which is six eight nine, which means this cell can't be a five. So let's take that out. In fact, we could see that I could have got that from that already. But sometimes when you're you know, I'm focusing on this, it's a little hard to see the obvious in front of me. Um, but now there's loads of stuff we can fill in. Um, let's change to that. And this is a 6, and this is a 1, and this is a 9, and this is a 9, and this is an 8. You can see here that the normal rule of Sudoku which is that you couldn't have this pattern of 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4 like this because it would lead to two solutions. Yeah, because the 4s could go either way around. Well, in Killer Sudoku, you can't rely on that logic. So this box actually clarifies which way around the 3, 4 has to go. So we've already got 10 in here, so this has to be a 4. This is a 3, this is a 3, this is a 4, this is an 8, and this is a 6. One five in here. 
I suppose it's just worth mentioning this funny configuration in columns one and columns two. Um, you can mm -hmm. save yourself a bit, bit of brain ache here um, in the sense that these horizontally shaped boxes can never resolve these two columns. Um, you ha I hope that's sort of obvious to everybody. You have to work with the vertical boxes because the horizontal boxes, um, you know, you're not going to be able to get, get any restriction unless you, you try and guess them, I suppose. Uh, whereas the vertical boxes, uh, the restrictions on these will give you the numbers that will then clarify the horizontal boxes within the column. So the most obvious place to look here is the 26 box in uh, in 4 because we can immediately see if this was a 2, these three cells would have to add up to 24, 7, 8, 9 is the only way of doing that. Well this cell can only be a 1 or a 5 so that's absolutely impossible. This has to be an 8. Um, and once that's an 8, this is a 7, which means these two cells have to add to 11. Well, we can see that is possible, but only, only if we do it that way. 9, 1, 2, and yeah, you've all seen now that the puzzle is, is solved. Quite easy today. Uh, if we're, I think if we're honest, we would have to say this was, this didn't feel like a deadly one. It felt, felt easier than that. It just flowed immediately. Um, uh, maybe I think you know if you've got good technique on these puzzles, you can um, you can crack a puzzle like this relatively quickly. So, still hope it was interesting, and we'll see you again next time on cracking a cryptic.